Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing one of Elmer's new pre-made slime variety packs. Their goo is what they call it. This pack is called the Retro Flash and it comes with three slimes that are scented and they have their own add-ins that you can mix in yourself. The first slime is called Just Fun. It's scented and it has that cute little mix in at the top. So right now I'm trying to pop it off and pop, there it goes. <laughs> so it comes with a bag of these neon glow in the dark stars and after you open it, it has a nice seal at the top so that the slime doesn't dry out while it's waiting there in the store for you. This slime came out of the container really nice and easy. My first impression was that I really liked how stretchy and smooth the texture of this slime was. As for the scent, it didn't say what it was on the outside of the box or on the container. But my guess is that it, to me, it smelled like maybe an orange creamsicle. It came with a ton of add-ins, so I only started off with about half of the bag just to see what it was like. It looked really cute inside of the slime, nice contrast with the orange color, and it stretched like crazy. I mean, look at those pops. They were nice. I went ahead and decided to add all the rest of the add-ins since, you know, it came with it. So here I am stretching it out for another bubble pop. My overall thoughts on this slime were that it stretched great. The scent was pretty good, even though I didn't know what it was. Um, the add-ins were cute, but they were too pokey on the hands. And they were supposed to glow in the dark, but I tried it out in the dark and I didn't see any glowing action. Maybe I should have charged it a little bit longer, but overall it was pretty good. The next slime is called Retro Glam. This one's a hot pink slime that comes with some rainbow foam bead add-ins. Look how pretty that looks, nice and glossy. And wow, when this came out of the container like that, I was, I was in awe. <laughs> so I'm adding in all of the rainbow beads here and it comes with a generous amount of foam beads. Giving it that first stretch. And yeah, I like those pops. I noticed right away that the texture on this slime was different from the orange slime. Not in a bad way necessarily, but it was just different. This one was definitely a little less stretchy than the other one. Still stretchy, just not as stretchy as the orange one. Also, the scent on this slime was a lot easier to distinguish. Right when you opened up that jar, you could smell the bubble gum. So it was a pretty strong scent, but I actually really liked the scent.
Overall, I thought this pink slime with the rainbow add-ins was really cute. I liked the scent a lot because I knew what it was right away. And it was actually kind of crazy. This slime inflated. So if you like inflatable slimes, there you go. This next slime was called Retro Pop. Um, it had the same texture as the first orange slime. Look how it slipped out of the container. Listen to these pokes, though. That was awesome, right? <laughs> So this one, like I said, was a lot like the orange one. It stretched great, made amazing pops. On the box, it said that this one smells like blue raspberries. I really wish that it did. It smelled a little bit more like dish soap and a little bit of berries to me. So it wasn't my favorite. The add-ins on this one were super cute. I love them because they had like an iridescent light pink color. I mean, look how cute they are and their music notes. So it went perfect with the whole theme of the retro pop. Loved those little crunches when I was adding those glitters in. Overall, for store-bought slimes, I thought that Elmer's did a pretty good job. This pack of three eight-ounce slimes was only about $12 and some change. I thought it was definitely worth the value. Yeah, they were really cute. I still love homemade slime better. Sorry, Elmer's, but thanks for watching, guys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. Bye!